What's up everybody? Thani here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm on Drillis Turf. Hi. <laughs> and we're going to be fishing with live shrimp. Don't know what we're going to catch. Hopefully we catch some keeper, mangrove snapper, black drum, uh, redfish. It's my first time. Actually, it's my second time fishing over here. I was here last time and I didn't really catch anything that's worthy enough for a catch and cook video. Hopefully we catch some nice fish so we can do a catch and cook for you guys. Let's see what happens, man. Stay tuned. I'm throwing artificial right now. I got the shrimp, uh, DOA shrimp on, and I'm just working along the bank here. See if I can pick up a redfish or a trout. Because where we're at right now, we're in uh, Wiki Watch area, and you're allowed to keep redfish and trout, speckled trout up here. So hopefully we catch one. Quick update. Um, we didn't catch anything, not yet. We're, uh, okay, still first of all, let me just clarify that the tide is going out. Donnie was supposed to be here at 8 a.m. Okay, Whoa. that was the peak of the tide. It's now 11.07. I don't even know if you can see that. She's calling so, out in my own video right the, now. The lowest part <laughs> is at 11.35. So we have 30 minutes. Yeah, we're just going to keep trying and um, keep tossing out shrimp. I'm actually going to start throwing lures, see if I get any luck with the uh, artificial bait. And we're hoping to catch a keeper redfish, black drum, like I said. Anything we can keep. Mangrove. Mangrove snapper. 10 inch mangrove snapper would be great. Ooh, yeah. Joel got the first fish. Ladyfish. Check it out. Flapping like crazy right now. Can we use him as bait? Can we keep him? That's up to you. It's I'll, your channel. I want, I want to keep him because um, we're going to use him as cut bait to catch, to try to catch redfish. These work really good as cut bait, so let's do that. He gave a nice pull too. You seen yeah, that? Yeah, they fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Here, look at that pop oh, no. It's so big. Look, look, look. Oh my God, I gotta land him. Excuse oh. me. Wow. How you feel right now, Bonnie? I'm so pumped. First it's been a made. while since I've caught a pompano. That's a really nice one. It's not a redfish, not a not a black drum, but I'll take a pompano any day. You hear the excitement in his voice? Oh my gosh, dude, that's a solid one. Literally, we were just we were just taking a lunch break, eating pizza, and the next thing you know, the reel goes off. Crazy. Started screaming drag. Got him on the shrimp. Was that live shrimp? Yeah, that was live shrimp. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That Out here fishing crazy. with Drilla. She's behind the camera eating pizza right now. I'm so embarrassed, <laughs> don't. <laughs> Alright, let's try to get some more. If you guys don't know, this is my favorite fish to target and eat. This thing here tastes amazing. I love it. I cannot wait to try it. It's been a while, so... Oh man, I'm so pumped. We're gonna flay them up later, but we're gonna try to get some more. Let's see if we can't get on some like redfish or black drum or a uh, mangrove snapper. It'd be cool. So I got that pompano on a knocko rig. This right here is only a half ounce and a size 1.0 circle hook. I usually get pompano using uh, Doc's Goofy jigs or Big Bob's jigs. Never with live bait. That was actually my first time catching a pompano with live live shrimp. Goes to show, everything eats live shrimp, guys. All right, let's try to get a redfish or a black drum now. Or another pompano. I wouldn't mind another pompano. All right, let's send it. Literally, this is all I'm doing, guys. I rarely do this. Set my pole down and just wait for the bite. Those are the hooks I'm using for live shrimp. If you guys are wondering what size hooks to use for live shrimp, a size one aught or a size two aught should do. What you got on there? I don't know. Tighten that drag down a little bit. Damn, I turned it up. More? Dang, how, how low did I put this thing? <laughs> I don't came, feel anything. It came off. Oh, yeah, yeah something took it. I don't know. It looks like a mangrove. Oh, yeah, I see. It's a mango. I don't know. He, he kind of hit it hard. He looks a little small, though. Oh, oh he, he, might, he might be. He might be. Oh, I didn't want to be fishy. It's a part of fishing. I don't know. What you guys think? He looks a little small. First mangrove of the day. Good job, Drilla. Thank you. Let's get some more. Let's get a keeper. See ya. Quick update, guys. The water is coming in right now, and we're still looking for that redfish or a black drum. Not complaining, though, because we got a pompano in the cooler right now. We're going to flay him up later, like I said, and uh, we're going to blacken him. It'll be my first time actually having a blackened pompano. I'm sure it'll be good. This has been the craziest fish of day ever. I don't even know what to say right now. You gotta put that in intro. Donnie literally just lost his reel and rod. And I'm, get, I'm getting it back right now, hopefully. Yeah, 
Oh no, you got a branch. No, it sucks. Donnie, oh my god. Didn't you just buy that reel? Oh my god. Is this your new reel? I've had it for a couple of years now. Oh my gosh. Not the Chris Green. I'm trying to drag it right now. Now we have to have try a funeral. To, try to snag it. We have to have a funeral. How long have you had that reel and rod? A long time. What would you like to say? Probably, probably a, a, cup, a year. Actually, actually, it's been a year and a half. But what would you like to say in remembrance of it? <sighs> it's you caught a lot of camera. it's it's it's, it's, it's caught a lot of big fish, a lot of big snook. Actually, the biggest snook I've ever caught on a lure was on that combo. Caught a lot of fish in that combo. And it just caught the pompano. It caught the pompano, that and last fish. <laughs> that was the last fish. All right, guys, still looking for uh, still trying to snag my rod and reel combo right now. No luck yet. I've snagged other things, but my rod and reel combo. It's probably like 15 feet out. Um, the tide's coming in, so that's not helping. I'm probably gonna have to come out here during somewhat low tide or negative tide and try to snag it. So no luck on getting my rod and reel combo back, but good thing I got a spare. I got a Shimano, uh, I got a Shimano Stratic CI4 4000 just sitting at the house. So we're gonna have to find a rod for that, and that that'll be my medium heavy combo for you know big snook throwing bigger baits. I might come back out here when it's low tide and try to get it, but it happens, man. You know, that's, that's part of fishing. It is what it is. Drilla, you gotta catch a keeper, a mangrove snapper. Fingers crossed. So. She's on. Yes, it's, see, you see what she said? I'm too, yep. I'm too nice, where am I from? <laughs> it's when you get out that you gain perspective, you know? You gonna measure him? Yeah, but he wouldn't, I don't think he's keeper anyway. He's a little too short. See ya. Hey, turn my drag up. Turn my drag up a little. Donnie with the assist. Stop reeling. <laughs> Alright, reel now. <laughs> Donnie turn my thing. Donnie. Oh, no. oh my gosh, it's oh another gosh, pompano. pompano. Get it, get it, get it. It's another pompano. Oh, oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. Donnie, turn my drag up. Donnie, turn my drag up. Oh my gosh, he just pulled Oh my god, that's oh a giant god. pompano! Oh, he like took, took off. Your time on it. He took time. Drill it, drill it, take your time on it. I'm gonna take my time, yeah. I'm gonna take my time. Bro, he's oh huge. My gosh. Look at that. Oh my that gosh. Sick. I did not think we would catch another one. Me and that lady were just talking over there and she's like, oh, you'll never catch another one. Oh my gosh, good pull. Oh, hey, you weren't lying. Good pull, Donnie. Pompano Oh my god, he's pulling. He's see how, this see is like the fight? most my drag has ever went off on this reel. This is crazy. My favorite fish right here, guys. Favorite fish Man, we're, to target we're about to have a eat. pompano catch and cook. This is crazy. I've never eaten pompano before. Oh, you're gonna be you're gonna be amazed. Oh, land him, land him? Yeah, right. Let me land him. Yeah, right. I wanna land him. Land him on first one. Give me a landing net. Do we have a landing net? I was gonna buy one. That's what's crazy. This is crazy, man. I cannot believe this. I did not think we would get another one today. Joel, uh, you want me to land them for you? Nah, I want to land you them. got it? Yeah, I got this, man. I'm a, I'm a female angler, you know, for the gal fishing. <laughs> what a gal fishing. Yeah. Yes, sir. This That's a giant. Crazy. That's the biggest pumpkin I've ever Bro, seen. Bro, you gotta get a picture of me, Bonnie. This is crazy, man. Take it over to My the. My phone is dead. Take it over there and put it on the wall. You might need to My money. phone is dead, bro. Yeah. Look at yeah. it. Oh my gosh. It's all good. Like, I, my adrenaline's like rushing right now. That's a fat one. That's bigger than mine. Bro, he gave such a nice pull. My drag never went off like that. Oh my god, that's a giant pompano, boys. Look at it compared to my hands. Oh yeah. I caught one earlier too. Bro, okay. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Like, this is my first pompano ever. Like, I'm so stoked right now. Drilla caught her first, very first pompano. It's a really nice one too. That's a stud. Check it out, man. 19 so inches. How do you feel? <laughs> so excited. Like my first pompano ever, it gave like one of the best pulls I've ever had. I'm stoked. Yeah, we're gonna cook them up. Um, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this. It's been a while since I've had a pompano. So looking forward to it. And we gotta be just, you know, Bro. <laughs> trying to 
trying to attack us here. <laughs> yeah, so it went from a possible catch and cook to a pompano catch and cook. No redfish, but like I said, I'll take pompano over redfish any day. This is my number one, number one, number one favorite fish to eat. And I've never tried it before, so we're gonna see how it goes. It's gonna be good. I got a shrimp down there. We're trying to get some more pompano. Tide is still coming in, so hopefully there's some more pompano coming through here. But um, if we don't get any pompano, if we don't get any bites within 10 to 15 minutes, we could, we're just gonna start cleaning up the fish. Still bummed that I lost my combo, but it is what it is. What happens? That's fishing. <laughs> Let me tell you guys how I lost that rod. So I'm fishing with live shrimp. You know, I cast the bait out there. Just like that, set it down with light drag, like really light drag. Set it down on the um, the chair there. There's a lot of birds here. I didn't know one was gonna run into the uh, the line, but anyways, the pelican ran into the line and just dragged the line and the rod down there. We're gonna fillet up the uh, pompano, get it ready, and then we're gonna make a uh, pompano salad with raspberry vinaigrette. For those of you guys that don't know how to fillet pompano, let me show you. Make the initial cut behind the pectoral fin. Oh my gosh, this thing is super sharp. I love it. Just like that. Really easy to fillet. Cut alongside the, uh, the dorsal fin. Just like that. And just keep cutting. Keep run running that knife along the bones. There it is, that's one filet. That's a thick filet. <laughs> Same thing on this side, make the initial cut right there. These guys are so easy to filet. The gnats are all over me right now, man. It's so bad. You can see gnats on my, my hand right here. We are far from home. We're like an hour and 30 minutes away from home right now. Somewhere up north. Can't really tell you guys exactly where we're at. <laughs> Unfortunately, I try not to give out locations just to um, respect the local anglers. Bust through the other side, like that. It's pretty good there. Man, I love this. I love this flaying knife right here. This Dexter, seven inch flex. Love it. All right, that's it. That's when you know you get a good amount of meat out of there. You can see through the, uh, the carcass right there. We don't want to feed these pelicans. So we're probably just gonna dump it straight down. Don't feed the pelicans, guys. Too slow. All right, let's wash them up now. Wash them up really good. All right, guys, we're just getting the skillet heat up getting it ready and then um, we're gonna pour some butter in there gotta have butter lots of butter oh let me show you guys the seasoning so I couldn't find the chef Prudhomme um, I picked up this Weber seasoning Cajun seasoning it's really good try it out guys this is on high heat I might have to cut that pompano in half because um, the skillet is a little small cut that in half like that even then that might be Oh yeah, this one I'm gonna have to cut in half. Literally in half. I don't want to put too much seasoning because we have the raspberry vinaigrette. More butter. Oh yeah, I'm stoked. Can't wait to try it. It's done though, but I just want to make it a little bit more crispy. Man, it's looking good already. All right, looks like it's done, guys. All right, let's put one on a salad. Plate salad, here we go. Let's put one on top. This one here, big chunk. Where is the dressing? Here it is. So Drill has never had pompano before. She's gonna try it right now. If I can find a fork. Where's my fork? Indeed, I'm so excited. Look how amazing this looks. <laughs> looks good, it's honestly. It's so beautiful. Like, I've never seen a better salad. Seriously. And I don't really eat salad. 
Here's your fork. Okay. Oh, I forgot to turn that off. So guys, I'm sorry. I'm one of those people. Snap before you eat. <laughs> I got it that fast though. Ooh. Let me know. Just like drizzle it all over. Look at that food porn. Mm. And it's pink. This is just so pretty. You should have told me you want to put the dressing. Now I have to take a picture of that. <laughs> She's got to share with her Share people, with my friends. The followers. That's going to be a wrap for us. It's been a long day. And I lost my rod and reel combo. Yes, I did. On a pelican. It wasn't even on a fish, on a pelican. We didn't catch the, uh, the black drum and the redfish, but there's always next time. Can't complain, man. You can't go wrong with pompano. And it was Drilla's first time having pompano. What do you think of it, man? I think it tastes really amazing. As you can see, my plate is like empty. I still have like some salad, but the fish is gone. It was my first time catching a pompano. It gave a great pull. It was super fun. Um, I don't know. I'm looking forward to next time, you know? Tell the people about your channel. My channel? Okay, so my channel is Florida Gal Fishing. It's G-A-L, not girl, Florida Gal Fishing. And me and Thani, we have a collab on there already, so you guys are more than welcome to go check it out. Hit the subscribe button, you know, join the family. All right, guys, that's it for us. Hope you guys liked the video. Hit that like button if you did. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys Bye. in the next one. Thank you.